Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is Apple's officially supported, and they actually sell it to developers, external graphics box. This is their breakout box. So let's open it up. It comes in at $5.99 and is actually a pretty good deal. So this is the breakaway box. I haven't opened any of this stuff. So this is the box itself. Let's see what's over to the right first. So just some paper. It comes with a Belkin USB Type-C hub. This is the graphics card, I believe. You can see it's a Sapphire card. It's an RX 580. That's the actual card itself. So we'll put this back in here for now. And let's take this out of the box as well. So as you can see, it says breakaway box. It's made by Sonnet. Now this is supported on 2016 MacBooks with Thunderbolt 3, and it's officially supported in the next version of Mac OS High Sierra. So this is the box itself. Inside, we've got some instructions. We've got a plug for the wall, and we have a very short Thunderbolt 3 cable. This is the smallest one that's offered. So this is the Thunderbolt 3 cable. Let's take the foam off of it. On the back, you can see we have a plug, a power switch, and our slot for our GPU. This is the front, and let's take this apart and see what's inside. So we'll unscrew these thumb screws. They're a little bit too tight, so I have to use a screwdriver at first. Inside, you can see here's where our card will go. We've also got a couple zip ties and an extra screw as well to hold down the card. Now we need to plug in the card, so we'll go ahead and do that. Before I seal this up, I tidied up some of the wiring, but you can see this is a 350 watt power supply that's included along with the fan and then the graphics card nicely inside. So let's go ahead and put the top back on. As you can see, the box is ready to go. We've got our one Thunderbolt 3 port on the back, and this will fully charge a 13-inch MacBook Pro, but not a 15-inch. That's one thing they note in the notes. Also, at the current time, audio is not supported over HDMI. I'm not sure if it'll work over DisplayPort on the Mac, so we'll try out DisplayPort and see how that goes. So let's go ahead and hook all this together and see how it works. We're at the login screen, which Apple says you need to be in when you plug this in. So let's plug this in. And you'll see it lights up and let's see how it works. Now it's saying an external GPU is detected. I need to log out. So I'll go ahead and do that. Both displays are awake. You'll see it says it's a Radeon RX 580. Let's see if Final Cut Pro will open. So right now Final Cut Pro opens and then appears to crash. And unfortunately, it keeps crashing, so maybe that will be fixed with an update. One thing to note is if you unplug this, it doesn't completely freeze the Mac. It just brings you back out to the login screen, and then you log back in and you're good to go. Let's see if we can run something that will test its frame rates. Now we're running off the external graphics card, and I've got everything turned up to extreme, and we're getting about 14 frames per second. Now, when we were running it on the MacBook directly, we were getting about three frames per second. So it's a big improvement. And maybe with time and some different things, this will actually get better. But it's a, it's a pretty big jump seeing that we're running this in extreme. The GPU box does make a little bit of noise. You can hear the fan going. It's not the quietest of fans, but it's working okay. And this is still going just fine. And 
not great. I've definitely seen better with a 1080 on a PC, things like that. But for now, it's a step in the right direction. And I can't wait to see what else Apple has. Final Cut Pro is not working, but the HTC Vive should work. And they also included a $100 gift card towards this, or $100 off towards an HTC Vive. So I definitely can't wait to check this out. And the fans just turned up. I don't know if you can hear them but the fans kicked up as it's running right off the GPU. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Are you excited about this external GPU support in OS X or Mac OS High Sierra? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.